Hello, welcome to Art with Joe Trades. Today we're going to be drawing a shaded ice cream cone. Um, each of you will be getting one of these. It's going to show you how to do it step by step, but you can also follow along with me if you want. Um, all you need are um, a black and white crayon. You can use other colors for later, but these are the most important ones. So we're going to start with the black crown. And we're always going to start by putting our name on the bottom. So I'm just going to put Miss Lace. Okay. All right, now we're going to start with our ice cream cone. Okay, so right at the top, we're going to start with the tippy top of the ice cream part. So I'm just going to start with a little pretty kind of wavy thing because this is how the ice cream gets swirled on, right? So we have a little swirly part at the top, it looks like a little wave. Then we're going to do a like closed off part like this. Okay, and it can be wavy. And then we're gonna make a bigger section under it. Okay, like that. And like this. Okay, and then we're going to close this section off too, just like this. We're going to do a couple little waves. And then we're going to do one more big section. It's always going to be bigger. Okay, like kind of like an ice cream pyramid. <laughs> okay, so after that, we're going to make a nice curved line because this is where the cone's going to be. Okay. And I'm going to make a cake cone, which is the kind that I like. And we're going, those are the more square ones. There's a pointy one, which is a waffle cone, or we can have the cake cone. So we're going to do a cake cone. We're going to start with two lines on the side right here. And then we're going to connect them by a nice long curving line that is parallel to this one. Now we're gonna do another couple of lines, one right here, one on the other side, and then another parallel line. And I always like to draw a little bit lighter until I get it right and then I make it dark. Works for everything, pencil, crown, not really marker, but you know. Okay, now I'm gonna make a really tiny one that's like a Looks like a little ring. So it's real tiny. And then we're gonna make the square part. So I'm gonna come down like this. And then we're gonna join it. Okay. Now we're gonna add all the swirly parts. So starting with the big the biggest ice cream section. I'm gonna put my hand over the cone part because you don't need to worry about the cone. We're gonna do some nice swirly parts. So I'm gonna start right about here and then make a nice line. Kind of looks like a long fingernail or like a long claw or something. But now you're just gonna kind of follow your lines and make it nice and swirly. So I'm gonna make another one and another one. I start narrow up here and then get wider when I go down. So it kind of looks like a swirl. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now on this side, I'm gonna do it the opposite way. So I'm gonna start over here and go that way. Remember narrow at the top and then a wider on the bottom part. Okay, and then here I'm just going to go from the little swirly part. Okay, so I have all that. Now I'm going to start 
we're gonna start working on the shading. So what I'm gonna pretend to do is the light on my painting is gonna come from this side. So if the light's coming from this side, then that means all the shadows are gonna be on this side. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to shade or go on all my lines and make just really light lines like that. And then just go, um, we're gonna go on every line to make a little shadow, right? Just like this. It has to be like, I'm doing it really light because I don't want it too dark. Okay, and then I'm also going to add shadow on this side since I said the light's coming from this right here, right? So I'm gonna do some shadow right here, shadow right here, right here. Okay, and then I'm also gonna do shadow where it's, if I was, if I set my ice cream on a table, it would have a nice little shadow, right? So I'm doing the shadow on that. Okay, now we're gonna add the highlight part. I'm just making sure I like it. Okay, so now we did the shadow or shading part. Now we're gonna set this down and I'm gonna do the light part. So the light part is gonna come up here. We're gonna do it on the opposite sides. And it's totally okay if yours doesn't look like mine because we're all different, right? And I also draw all the time. The more you practice, the better you'll get, I promise. And you get to add the highlight how you think it looks pleasing to you. Okay, I'm just kind of messing with mine, seeing how I like it. So I'm going to add some right here. Okay, so once you get all that down and you're happy with how it looks, um, the next thing I would suggest is um, you'll get your crayons out and you can add little things. So my favorite thing to do is add um, a little cherry. So I'm going to add my cherry right here. I'm going to color it real good. Try not to break your crown though. Broken crowns are sad. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna color my cherry. Okay, it doesn't matter that I have my little line here because I'm gonna mess with it. So I'm gonna add my highlight on my cherry like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna add the shadow, which will be here. And then I'm also going to add just a little bit of a highlight or a line around it so it looks like it's um, highlighted. I'm going to add the stem. Okay, I'm just going to barely outline my cherry. Okay, and then there's my cherry. 
Now, if you want to add sprinkles, honestly, you just need crayons. You don't even need markers. I think it's pretty with crayons on colored paper. So I'm just gonna add a couple sprinkles. Do you guys like sprinkles on your ice cream? It's fun to put it on there. So I'm just doing a couple different colors to make it stand out. You guys can um, put these up in your room if you want. Um, if you're not, I would love to have them and put them in your portfolio or you can take them. Whatever your teacher decides is totally fine. Um, I love decorating my classroom with your guys' art, so just let me know if you didn't want to take them home and I will gladly take them and put them in your portfolio later. Okay, so I got all that finished and now I'm just going to kind of go over some things and make them darker. If you are happy with what you have, then um, you can give it to your teacher and uh, say that you're done. Just make sure your name's on it so we don't lose it. And that's about it. I hope you guys had fun.